Hello and welcome to Feedbackula, where we read everything you've been saying over the past week. Then, once the crying and puking and shaking dies down a bit, we make a show out of it. Then we cry and puke some more. Spewing from today's Vomcano... Xbox One. Bef yeah. Don Matrick. He's considerably better at wangling himself a new job than he is at getting an audience to applaud when he wants them to. Microsoft's premier Xbox flogging fellow announced this week he's leaving Microsoft to become CEO of Zynga. You know, that company with the dog for the logo. Not that one. There we go. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but Microsoft's Xbox division has received rather a lot of negative attention online recently. So it didn't take much for many of you to take this new story and run with it in all sorts of fun directions. <laughs> Fired. Talk about falling off the high horse. Lol. Anyway, the idiot probably belongs on Farmville anyway. Lol, good to see him go. This is normal business when corporate fires you. He probably got a big bonus for leaving to. It's called failing upwards. Man, this is a messed up country. Ha 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 ha! Zynga? What a f***ing loser! Another publicity stunt. Nothing can save the Xbox if they don't get rid of Kinect. That's right, a publicity stunt. Zynga paid Matrix $5 million to sign a contract with them as a favour to Microsoft because it's all one big publicity stunt. Good one! No way he left MS willingly. He was probably fired and was given the option of either him leaving or public execution. Since he got crapped down the throat by Sony at E3, I'm sure no one wanted a piece of him. Working for Zynga is probably the fifth circle of gaming hell. Only the fifth? That's not so bad. Wow, it must be really bad at M$ dollar if Zynga is a better place to be. Forced out. Lol. He's going to put the final nail on the Zynga coffin. What a bad choice for both. All right, so there's no shortage of people assuming Matrix has been fired, but to play devil's advocate, I feel compelled to ask if Microsoft would really do that at a time like this. They're about to launch a brand new console, so what kind of message would that send? If Microsoft sacked the man leading the Xbox One team, it would effectively be an admission they had no confidence whatsoever in their product. Not in a million years would they ever dream of making that statement now because it would be commercial suicide. You're also forgetting Matrick is now CEO at Zynga. He just got a promotion and if anything, he's not losing, he's winning. Yeah. So we got a veritable butt-ton of comments this week, assuming Don had been shown the door by Microsoft and that Zynga is some kind of humiliating exile company beyond the Ural Mountains where executives are sent to die. But while some of you were already starting work on the first draft of One Day in the Life of Ivan Matrikovic, others found it in their hearts to celebrate Don, wishing him well in the future and reminiscing about his most lovable moments at Microsoft. Thanks for helping Sony get a good start with Next Generation, Don. We're grateful for your tireless effort to make the PS4 the best place to go for Next Generation Gaming. I'll miss the moments when you are moving your hands and smile and telling lie! Enter the Matrix. Well, they are a good fit. They are similarly good-hearted. He ruined Microsoft, then we ruined him. Now he's going to ruin Zynga! Good man. After you finish with Zynga, go for EA. Smart move. Another big thing, and then he can retire, and his kids retire, and his grandkids can retire with that load of money, dollar. This guy probably makes seven figures. Seven figure to destroy a company's gaming division and reputation. I'm not sure how idiots like these get these jobs. Now he's gunning for the top job at another big company. What a loser. As an investor, I will not put my money where he is. What are the requirements of a gaming CEO anyway? One, never played a video game. Two, all ideas loathed by 99% of gamers. Three, super greed mixed with a phony persona. Okay, so they weren't all good-natured comments, but hey, this is the internet. 
Ultimately, Zynga may have had some problems recently, but it still brings in $1.2 billion a year, and Matrick is now the CEO. At Microsoft, Matrick was reporting directly into Steve Ballmer, so he wasn't going to go any higher at Microsoft for a long time. If he can do for Zynga's balance sheets what he did for Microsoft with the Xbox, he'll be laughing all the way to a super mega CEO job at an even larger company. The point is, I know a lot of people don't like Matrick, but those people are treating this news like he's been stripped naked and humiliated on stage for crimes against the games industry. In reality, he just got a pay bump and has set out a career path for himself that will stretch out for years to come. He's doing pretty well for himself. Upsetting as that may be. Anyway, that's it from me. I've just been informed I said more than two words in defence of Don Matrick's viewpoint this episode, so I'm going to be rushed to a safe location and placed into hiding for a few months. Or years. Please don't try and track me down. I really don't want to have to kill any of you in self-defence. If you would like to make threats against my life, however, feel free to do so by tweeting at Johnny or using the hashtag FeedbackKiller. Catch you next time. I hope. <laughs>